walk too slick. My walk too thick, I walk to get all you sick. Leave a nigga on red, cause I bought two bricks. I'm on some shit, flaming hot, want all my chips. I want talk to me nice, please on all my whips. I ain't no average bitch, I'm a savage bitch. Fuck a man, send him home, you can have his bitch. I show up at Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is The Knockout, if you didn't know. So welcome back, Young Knockouts. I said I was gonna come back when I had some good news. If you've been uh, basically kind of watching how I've been going through the Navy and kind of like swerving through it, you know what I'm saying? I got some good news for you. I got my East Wasman. Woo! Fake clap. Well, I said if you saw my last video, I was working on it, so I had to take some time. It took me, um, I actually had been working on it for a long time, but I was undesignated and um, it kind of took a lot of my time and I was also on a special team, so it was kind of hard for me to kind of do everything. So I've actually been working on it since like last summer, but I made it to the murder board and then of course COVID started. So when I was supposed to take, uh, when I was supposed to do my chief board, which is the last board, um, they shut it down so i actually passed so there's 10 departments on my ship so i did six out of ten so i was supposed to go back and take it so you just retake the ones that you missed and i was supposed to go back and oh i'm really close like dang girl back it up and i was uh, i was supposed to retake the board like the i think it was like two weeks later and then COVID happened so then uh the boards got shut down and then you know we have to um, social distance so I just kind of like I don't know in my head I think I got messed up I, I took myself out of the game because I really wasn't thinking that we were going to be able to come back and take the boards like right away and then um, things started getting a little bit better um, they figured out how you could social distance the correct way and then um, I was supposed to take it and then I took it again and then I passed and um, I was waiting to basically kind of get pinned and um, here we are so i'm blonde as you see which i think is fantastic well i'm actually leaving so monday was my last day on my ship so i was on a carrier and now i'm going to a ddg small boy baby yay <laughs> but um so i'm on leave so you know basically i can wear whatever color i want to you dig period but um so um, I'm going to be driving to California, so I'm stationed in San Diego, so no more Norfolk for me, baby. They said Virginia is for lovers, but I think it's for haters, but you know, it's neither here or there. But, um, so it's like a little quick life update, and all my videos are not going to be about Navy, y'all. Like, I love the Navy, I really do, even though I got finessed, but you know, it's all good, it's all good. But a little update on what's going on. So my last video, I definitely said that I was going to put in my officer package. Hoo ya! I finally was able to put in my officer package, you know. Well, I had already put it in, but I kind of had like a couple of bumps in the road on how to do it. First off, my last apartment were some haters. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. I figured it out. I've been actually working on my package for about two years. Um, I've been undesignated for two years. I finally picked up um, in January. Um, I'm rated now. I'm an OS, third class baby. Big, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> but I did put in for um, supply, SWO, and PAO, PAO. So PAO is public affairs officer, which they basically deal with like the media outlet of whatever ship is whatever ship you're on. Then SWO officer is basically you know driving the ship. Is not necessarily mean that I'll be with the BMs, but I'm not upset being with the BMs because I have been working with them for two years. And then, of course, supply. And um, supply is basically supply. Um, but I really want to go for PAO because it goes with my degree. And if you have been following, once again, I do have my master's degree. And I got finessed out of, you know, becoming an officer. But I've stayed... Um, happy and diligent and basically just making sure that I stay on point as a person because it is really hard coming in and knowing that you have all these things that you've accomplished in life and you still got finesse going into the military. The thing is you have to keep your head up and it's hard because you're undesignated and you don't have any rank. So they know how to work with E5s but an E3 coming in, going to OCS and not wanting to be a warrant officer or something like that 
you don't have the opportunity because in order to be a chief warrant officer or LDO, you have to be E5 or eligible to be E6. You know what I mean? Going that way in order for you to go ahead and get LDO, CDO, chief warrant officer. Yeah. So if you are like me, I'm going to try and help you because it's there. There's really not a, a guide. And I've been trying to track and see what my mistakes are. I'm basically your guinea pig. So <laughs> the first one is basically um, depending on the designation, designation that you want to be in. Um, like I want to be a PAO that goes right into my degree. My master's degree is marketing and my business degree. Uh, <laughs> my bachelor's degree is business majoring marketing. And I went to Texas Women's University, but I also started at Texas Southern University. So HBCU love, hey. And I went and got my marketing degree at Parsons School of Design, which is in Manhattan, New York. So you know if you know. And something really cool about that is that instead of doing my master's degree in two years, your girl did it in one. So I did 19 hours my first semester and 17 hours my second. And along with two internships so I interned for Manolo Blahnik and then I interned for New York Fashion Week so who y'all yeah, to all my ladies who do it with style but the only trick to that was that it was 30 grand a semester so your girl was not doing two years for nothing but anyways so what I do have is some information telling you that you know what I'm saying I'm good on information so say your GPA um, it's not where it's at where it needs to be say um, Supply so supply I needed a 3.0. I didn't have a 3.0 um, But I had it really close to it. I had like a 2.9 But you can take your officer exam So that's when the OAR comes into play so you can either have either or so you can have the GPA or you can have the OAR score So they basically level out which is amazing because then you have the opportunity now, I don't know about the civilian side. I heard on the civilian side talking to the officers that you can actually get a waiver for it. So being a civilian, you can actually like, there's a lot more waivers, a lot more leeway with it. But being already enlisted, you have to, you know, you have to have it or you don't have it. So I went and I started studying for the officer exam. The first time I took it, I was just trying to see like, how was it and stuff like that. So I scored really trash. Uh. You know what I mean? And I was upset, but it was just kind of like I just wanted to see where I would be at. The thing about the OAR is that you can only take it three times in your lifetime. So if you don't make the grade on your third time, you're, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. You gotta wait till E5 and then something else. Or maybe you could get a waiver. It's just depending on the designation that you want to. That thing, that lighting keeps going down. It's making me upset. It's upsetting me and my homegirls. You know what I'm saying? Me and my shipmates. <laughs> but, um, so, since we're talking about the OER, I have a few books. Ooh. If you're interested. Ooh, my goodness, I have a lot of them. Hold on. So, right? So, I'm going to tell you about a couple of these books. This book, garbage. So, if you have this, throw it away. See, I have all my name and stuff like that. It's garbage. But if you want to still choose and look at it, you can. Um, it's pretty outdated to me. Didn't really have um, much of anything on there. It gave me a lot of stuff, but it didn't give me a lot of stuff on there. Don't know why. Like it gave you like the basics. So you had basically the OAR is a glorified aspect, but for the officers. I think it's like an hour and thirty minutes. Um, this one, the master, the officer candidate test. This this one is big boo boo. Big boo boo. It's really outdated. There's nothing on here that like really tells you what's going on. There's some things on there and then there's some things that are like totally out of pocket that don't even make sense to be even on here. So you have to understand. So this book actually, all these books will also say um, if you want to be a pilot. So that's in there too. So don't get discouraged if it says something like some piloting. So if you want to get into the pilot um, and you're already prior, you're enlisted, um, so when I first got into the Navy, if I wanted to, I could have applied for officer. That was where I wanted to go. When I first put in my, um, when I first put in my application, I was joining the Navy. I had the option to be an officer, but me personally, I'm scared of having, um, 
I'm one of those people, I'm really an empathetic person, so I always thought, like, what if something happens, and I know, like, I'm probably being, like, super, like, dramatic, but I always feel like, you know, what if something happens, and, you know, I survive, and those people who I was driving, they don't survive, then I have to live with that, even though it might have not been my fault, but I just... I just, me personally. So kudos to all those people who are pilots. You guys are the real MVP because I don't know how y'all do it, but it looks fun. The onesies are lit. Like, every day coming in, coveralls, like, yeah. So, um, a lot of people said to get the Barons. This is Big Boo Boo too. This is really outdated information. The only thing that it has correct is the mechanical comprehension, which basically all of the books have the mechanical comprehension on it. Um... It also has like math portions in there too. Once again, like I said, it has the aviation. So if you want to be a pilot, um, you can go ahead and do that. Ladies, if you're in, interested in being a pilot, the cutoff age is 28. Um, so, but if you already prior listed, I think they give you like two years back or three years back going in. Um, so that, so when I joined, um, the cutoff was 28, but because I had joined they gave me like the two years back or something like that so i would actually be still i would still be eligible but now i'm 30 so yes 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 i am 30 so the book that i really love this one is the astb e study guide test prep and practice questions once again you get this from amazon you can really get all these books from amazon if it's what you're liking but i think these books are garbage but this one is the real MVP solely because um, this one is no fluff, no muff, like, or applesauce or whatever. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I said no fluff. No fluff. And bye. I'm so corny. Okay. <laughs> but this book is definitely, I saw questions from, I saw questions on from this book, this study guide, on the test. Like, I was like, whoa, this is like the same, same question. Oh, this looks familiar. This looks really familiar. So it has like basic math, of course, in it. Um, it's a lot of time. Um, let me see what else is in here. So you could tell. So you know I'm not just gaming you, but I don't know if you can see if it, it'll let me adjust. But it has like time in here. Um, like 10 miles per hour. It's basically like, um, let me see percentages if you're good with percentages it has a lot of a lot of time a lot of sales tax in here um it did some order of operations so we got algebra algebra 2 in here percent and ratio estimate sequence measurement practice so that's talking like cylinder diameter um discount so percent and ratio you're good at that like this book love like dead love um, it has square root, but it didn't ask for square root like on the test. The test is all actually timed also. So if you run out of time, don't be offended and be upset because if you run out, it's not it's not working against you. So you're still okay. Um, then it has reading on here. So when it says reading on here, it's not talking like there'll be some questions where it's talking about um, like the main idea of the passage but it's not what you think it is it's navy it's military jargon if i said that correctly so when i say military jargon i'm talking like the nav admins or um like i feel like if you look up the nav admin or anything like on the specific rate that you want but in the military because there's all these other kind of books so like the oss have their own like publications and if you read the publications and you understand what you're reading that is what you need to take to the test because it's basically an all military form it's it there's a couple of things that ask you like general statements like what does this mean and what does this mean but a uh, majority of the reading is like that and don't get lost in the sauce if you feel like you don't know the answer you can't go back so you just whatever you think it is go with your first mind that's the first one you think that's the right answer you go with it and you click next do not think it's something else click just keep going then of course it has like the dictionary in it of course so let's get to the good stuff so if you're putting in i'm trying to make sure it's not a really long time so i actually found this like not even like five minutes ago all right so the package if you want to kind of look it up for yourself the package is called officer programs application 
the op nav let me see the op nav is 1420.1 bravo so it looks like make sure my social security is not on here or anything like that all right so it looks like this can we see this I need to so it looks like this so on here it basically says indicate the programs that you want it's asking about your personal information your p.o box so which um if you have any um extra acti extracurricular activities so make sure that you have something outside of just going to work every day i was a part of csad um helping other sailors I mean, you know what I'm saying? So that's really a big thing to help all sailors. Um, meaning like the new people that come on the ship, you're able to show them around. And they have like a lot of like little things that are helpful. Like they had bowling night and they had like ice cream socials where like people who just come to the ship, they get to know each other. Like, hey, I'm from here. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to help you, you know, get around. Then also it has like, um, so it has some statements. It, the, one of the statements says reason, apl reason applying for a commission personal professional goals strengths personal characteristics um you possess which will contribute to success in your program um of course discuss what the navy core values are you know your high school college transcripts if you're just coming out of high school you know what i'm saying but your college transcripts they want every single one of them so if you went to different schools that it is what it is you know what i'm saying and then um also a big thing is like so it says on here so like okay let's look for that right now so i have the officer candidate program which basically you can find that also you can google it um it just says ocs is chapter four of the opnav so all of this will be included in opnav when you look it up you can google this actually which is kind of crazy that you can just google this so if you want to just kind of get a head start on everything so they're going to ask you so it looks thin but as as you're building it it'll get bigger so it'll ask you for your prims basically which is what you um what you did on your last prt even if you just came from boot camp or you went to boot camp and you came out you know what i mean they're asking for that because you have to make sure you're in shape to go back um it also asks for i'm sorry for all the um such trash so then it asks you um so so you're you have to have three designations so mine was of course pao uh swell and supply so you're going to go on a board and they're going to ask you all these questions so you'll be in whatever um that is so annoying for me to say um you'll be in whatever dress whites dr dress whites or dress blue so depending on the season that's what you will be in when you go to your boards so you can have a board where it's all three of them on your board like i got lucky where because i was the only one working on um my ocs package i was the only one there and then usually what they do is so PAO would have their own board, um, <laughs> supply would have their own board, and then SWO would have their own board. But because I was the only one that was currently working on it, I got to have everybody on there, and they would ask me questions on why they why do I feel like I would make an officer great commissioning? What are the things that make me would make me a great officer? And you need to make sure that you get yourself self a mentor, which is really great too. So shout out to Mr. King. He just got promoted too. So he is now Lieutenant Commander King. Um, I also had another mentor. She was a Sismo, but she used to be a SWO. So that was another great thing too. They were able to teach me all the things that I needed to know um, to go on the board because they didn't know they were going to be on my board and they ended up being on my board, which was a fantastic. The more things that you can get to add to your um to add to your package will be greater like i got my east was which is really really good like i've only been in two years which i should have got it last year but i got my east was what makes me look good as me coming in undes and the growth that i have like i went in and had undes now i'm um oh that's so annoying now i have both i am basically i'm called up in both of my departments so i was called up all the way up with the bms and now i'm called up all the way up with um wow i really say i'm um, a lot <laughs> and i'm called all the way up with my new department which are the os's so that looks good in my package also so wherever you're at you're designated with don't think that just because you're undes that doesn't mean anything you should go ahead and get all your qualifications if there's another designation that you want to get into your package hits you make sure you can do od ojt on job on the job training in the new department that you want to go into to show that 
you are taking responsibility and you're showing as a leader that this is not the only thing that you have set for yourself that there are goals that you have and you're meeting the criteria that you're crushing it so that when they look at your package they're like wow look at this look at this person they're above them y'all they went and got their east walls hook it up and get your air you know what i'm saying you're depending on your ship if you can get your air your air pen also but yeah so those are the things i basically kind of helped you um so oh my gosh um those are the things that I learned that can help you. And if you have any more certifications, the better, the bigger, the better for you. But make sure to me, your best thing is to get a mentor because your mentor is really helpful to help you get through the process. They will know exactly what to do. Like, hey, you need to get A, B, and C. My mentors was like, I had another mentor. She was a warrant officer. She was like, you need to get this. I know you're getting all these other things, but you need to get this too. And I'm just like, okay, I need to get that. This is kind of hard because of we're scheduling but if you really want a commission this is what you want to do and currently i put in for all of them but because i'm going to another ship i don't know if they will hear first or my new ship will hear first but i'm hoping that i'm still attached to my carrier because they know me they work with me my ceo and my xo can really like really vouch for me versus like a new ship who would they would not know me but until next time, I hope I answered all your questions and I'm back. The next video I will be doing will be doing, well, I got two new videos after this one. So I'm going to do a hair one. I'm going to do an update, a hair and a live update on my life. And then the third one, I'll be showing me picking up and the road trip to California. So, bye guys.